This is a community special. But that's right, not a community TV series special. This is a community gaming special in South Africa because there's so much going down. <laughs> this is the news on Games on TV. The last couple of weeks have been incredibly exciting when it comes to tech and gaming news and they might have zipped past you really quickly. Diablo 3 came out, E3 was a buzz, and WWDC happened last week, this week, and uh, oof, it's been it's been absolutely wild. So, in case you missed all the E3 happening, Zade Creel has uploaded a great article that highlights the best of the new games, because that was kind of like the big highlights at E3 right now, and the best of E3 as a whole. Those articles can be found in the links in the description below at WWDC earlier this week and for those of you who don't know because you're probably all mostly PC players WWDC is the developers conference the worldwide developers conference for Apple products now Apple have announced a whole bunch of new products in their gaming range including AirPlay via Game Center on Mac now the new MacBook Pro is going to be very very Powered, high powered, it's a power horse of note and uh, you can play AirPlay games to your TV from your from your laptop. So my question is, will that become the future of games with powerhouse laptops airplaying straight to a TV wirelessly in 1080p, something that the consoles actually don't do yet? Uh, will that replace console gaming, especially now that you can play cross-platform? So Game Center plays cross-platform against uh, iPhone, iPad, iPod, and your Mac. What will be the future there? Will that be Apple's new take and taking over the gaming industry? It was very interesting at WWDC they had the Stig walk on stage, the Stig, uh, not the real Stig, I'm sure, uh, show a racing game and demo it. And it sparked these thoughts. The article's in the description below. Take part in the dialogue, I think it's very interesting. And uh, I'm also wondering if Windows will be taking this route and Microsoft soon. Because if they do, the future of consoles might look very interesting. Hey guys, I'm Mike, the resident StarCraft 2 Pro, and I'll be giving you some tips on how to improve your game. Do you play Zerg? Then listen up. If the Zerg vs Protoss matchup is not your strong suit, here's a simple strategy that could work for you. When you go head to head with a greedy Protoss, try a Spinecrawler Rush on his natural expansion. This is a novel strategy that can throw off your opponent and give you an early advantage. Most Protoss players expect you to be greedy with your bases, so they do the same thing by fast expanding in an attempt to keep up. When you see this happening, send a queen to just outside his base as early as you can. Follow this up with two or more workers when she's almost there. Make use of the trick where you plant a hatchery and immediately cancel it. This leaves a small amount of creep on the ground. Use your queen to plant creep tumors and your drones to make spine crawlers on the growing creep. Edge forward and keep up your macro at home. From this position, you could push to win with zerglings and roaches, or simply contain him while building up a powerful army and taking control of the map. This strategy can be made to work against a fast expanding or fast teching Terran too, but with less success. Remember, practice makes perfect. See you next time. Now it's time for community stuff. The biggest gaming event in 2012, without a doubt, has got to be Diablo 3. And if you haven't picked up a copy of Diablo 3, I don't know what you've been doing for the last couple of weeks, but I know what you'll be doing for the next couple of months. You are going to pick up a copy of Diablo 3 from Musica, and there are three places you can do it now. I remember I said that you could do it in Cape Town, in Canal Walk, in conjunction with Mweb. All you had to do was open up an Mweb uncapped account at a Musica store, and you could pick up a copy for 200 bucks. Well, Joe Burgers and Durbanites won't be left out now. If you're in Gateway Mall or Rosebank Mall, you can go to their Musicas and do the same thing, the exact same special. It's so amazing. 200 Rand for one of the biggest games to come out this year. If not the biggest, you can't pass this up. And guess what? If you open up an Mweb uncapped account, all that traffic through Battle.net is prioritized. So you're gonna get the best Diablo experience ever. What do you say about that, Nick? Well, I just want to know when they're going to do this kind of special for games that I want to play. D Diablo 3? You don't want to play Diablo 3? Well, I'm too busy playing Farming Simulator 2011. I play Golf Sim something. It's Sim difficult. Golf. You'd be surprised how difficult it is. I don't know what crops I need to plant. Am I going to get a combine harvest or a tractor with the income from that? Who knows? 
It's technical, Grant. The biggest gaming console tournament in South Africa is going down in the coming week. It is PlayStation 3 versus Xbox 360, and they're taking each other on in Modern Warfare 3. If you're part of one of those clans and haven't registered, unfortunately, it's too late. But the clans who have registered, the qualifications are going down this Sunday. What is the tournament called? The King of Console Tournaments, and it's sponsored by Geotech. Apex Interactive and MWeb of course is going down at the MWeb M Cave and if you want to tune in and watch you can next week Friday the 22nd of June and support your console now Xbox if they win are being sponsored by Microsoft an extra 10 grand so the top prize is 10 grand plus 10 grand that's 20 grand to the top clan who wins if they are Microsoft if you're a PlayStation 3 unfortunately right now it's only 10 grand winnings but Sony might just come to the party. We've got some inside scoop on that, and if you want to find out what happens in that realm, stay tuned to Game Zones forum and website. We'll have all the news as it breaks going down in your area. Now make sure that you tune in to Game Zone, that's mweb.co.za forward slash games, on the day, Friday the 22nd, to find out what's going on, and you can tune in and watch the game live. Emesis A are proud to bring you the online StarCraft 2 tournament which can earn you provincial colors. That's right, you can play online and earn provincial colors in StarCraft 2 and Polar Fluke are hosting it. All you have to do is check out Polar Fluke's website and you can see, watch the whole tournaments live. They're gonna be happening on the 7th and 8th of July and if you're available and in a team that's affiliated with the MSSA, which means that your school team or varsity team or personal clan is already affiliated with the MSSA, you stand a chance to win these colors or earn. You don't win colors, right? You earn them. Mm. You earn them. That's a badge of honor, son. And that is a great thing for South Africa. And all you have to do is make sure that you are online at that time. 7th of 8th of July. Check up on the fleek and get cracking. I want to see a South Africa team that's going to kick the whole world in the butt. I said, but a heartwarming gaming South African story was a moto posted on the PlayStation 3 forums that his friend at Siphon had a, a yellow light of death. That means that your PlayStation shuts down and is completely irreparable. Now the community have graciously raised enough funds to replace Siphon's PlayStation 3. Isn't that amazing, Nick? I think it's pretty amazing. <laughs> that shows the heartwarming love that the gaming community in South Africa has. Now, if you have a yellow light of death, don't expect everyone else to pay for it because I don't think that's going to happen. But Siphon, you are a special case. And uh, we are very happy to announce that you have earned all that money from all your friends. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's great. I think it's a fantastic story. I think it's a pretty cool story. Yeah. Shows well done. the unity and support. Gamers. The humble bundle. We don't know. Who needs a humble bundle when you can just. I don't know why he's wasting his money on a, on a PlayStation, though. If he gets sort of given all that money, he should buy himself an Xbox. <laughs> You fanboy! <laughs> Exciting local gaming news thanks to MWeb Game Zone again. The Team Fortress 2 local dedicated service that they so generously have given to us uh, have a new twist on them. Basically what happens is if you're playing on an IP address that's listed in an article in the description below uh, with local servers, your game will be streamed via hash, via the site. It's Team Fortress 2 TV. If you hashtag TF2 TV, then you can share that link with your friends uh, and you can see the stream running on the right hand side of the page. So it's happening live in browser, share on Facebook and Twitter and let people know that you're playing. The game is completely free. I've written an article about it previously and you can pick it up through Steam next to nothing if you've got an MWeb subscription and you've got uncapped, it's prioritized right through that connection so you can get the game in no time at all. So what are you waiting for? It's Friday. What are you going to do after lunch? Get some TF2 TV on, son! Get it on, son! Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Game Zone TV. Be sure to tune in to the King of Khan tournament next week Friday. It's going to be off the push sure easy. I've been on Hector 99 too much to come up with that hip-hop talk. Snoop Dogg, big ups to you, man, for stepping into the studio. Jokes. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If <laughs> you... Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I want you to have a fantastic gaming weekend. Tell us what you're playing, because we might be joining you on the Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. If you're playing Team Fortress 2, make sure you're streaming that, because that is the way forward in the future. Stay in school, high five a stranger, and don't take drugs. <laughs>